Very welcome to this video where we will have a look at the difference between a dashboard and a report in Power BI. Many of you might have heard of the two different ones. Maybe you are using them interchangeably. Maybe you just use one or not the other one. Anyway, we will explain you in this video what is the main difference, what are some of the benefits and minuses by using a dashboard and how can we actually do this in the Power BI service. So starting off, what is a dashboard and what is a report? A report is what we normally build when we are in the desktop. We are working in the Power BI desktop and we might create multiple pages or views. You might have a session report, you have a weekly you have a drill analysis, a game comparison, uh, benchmarking analysis. It can be different views where you can have filters, player names, session dates, weeks, whatever you like, where you can play around with the data. It's very interactive and you can, you can play around yourself what you would like to have displayed on that view or that page. That is a report. A dashboard, however, is one page only with selected elements from multiple reports. So for example, using the example in front of us, the dashboard page can be a table from the drill analysis, it can be one chart from the session report, and it can be a scatter from a drill or a game. It's a small tile, so what you do is when you are in the report, you pin some of these elements and they become tiles or what's they called in the dashboard. The way on how to do this, to play around, move them, change colors, do some modif simple modifications, add a title, we'll show you all of that. For now, let's just focus on the main difference between a report and a dashboard. So in order to get started, let's jump into the Power BI service and we'll show you how to create it and what is the pros and the cons that we already touched a little bit upon. Okay, so we are in the Power BI service online and we're now looking at the reports that we've just published. So we have multiple views. We can have a look here. We have a session report, we have a weekly report, we have different views and reports. Let's say that I now want to start to create a new dashboard. There is multiple ways that you can do that. You can come, sorry, you can come back here, my workspace, and you can select new dashboard. That's one way to get started. Or let's come back into the report that we just had open and we can start from there. So let's say that I want to have one element from the session report. Let's say, for example, this chart here. So this one, I want to be displayed in the dashboard. When we hover over here, you see this pin icon, pin visual. When we select this one, you will get the option. Do you want to add it to a existing dashboard or a new dashboard? Because I don't have any existing dashboard. Let's call this Sport Horizon demo. We can pin that and you can see now that you get the option to create also a mobile layout or you can go to the dashboard. Let's just leave that for now and we add one more element. Let's say I want to have this one. I can come here, select, pin and now I have the option to add to existing dashboard. Let's pin that as well and now go to dashboard. We can now see that we have our two elements here. We can move this around, we can play around a little bit, but what you see is that because the background of these are white, I would like to change the theme. So if you come to edit, you can actually change the dashboard theme and you can change that to dark, color friendly, or you can also custom that with other backgrounds. Let's just go with dark for now. I'm happy with that, looks okay. 
and we could just select save. So what we see now is that we have our elements that we added. If we would like, oh, sorry. If we would like to make it a little bit bigger, we can pull it in different direction and we can move around as we want. So this is some simple modifications that you can do. What you will notice that one in this dashboard is that if someone would like to have a look in more depth into something, they cannot filter here. What they will have to do is to select the visual or the, the element or the tile is what it's called. If they press this one, you will be brought into the report where this element is originally located. So now you can see this one here. We can obviously come back again and we can see here the same. What's important to notice and be aware of is that the filter that you select, so let's come back here. If we now select a different day, let's take this one. If you now come back to the dashboard, if we go to my workspace, we now have our dashboard here. You can see that that's not being changed. So the filter does not change this one. You need to put the one you want, add it, and then that's stuck. If you refresh the data and update with you, that's fine. It will be included, but the filters would not. So if you are in an organization where you might not need uh, or might not have multiple views and pages, there might not be a need to have a dashboard when you anyway will delve into the actual report. If people are familiar with going into the report, play around with the data, then a dashboard might not be needed. However, if you have loads and loads of data, then dashboard can be useful. What you also can is to add a title, that being just a text box. You can also add the images. So if you want to have a URL, so if we find the, a given logo, you can add that as well. So let's just type in Google and we'd say, let's take Sport Horizon uh, logo and we can take the URL we can type it in here and apply and you can see now that we have a nice little logo we might want to put that on the top left for example if we wanted you could play around with this yourself how you want it but what you also can do is edit here and you can set a custom link. So let's say we wanted this to go to a different, different dashboard or report, or it can go to a website if you would like that. So if I now select this one, open in a new tab, we can do that as well. You can select apply. And once you select that one, you're being brought to, uh, to the website. Let's go back and we can have a look on the other settings that you can do as well. You could add the comments, you can open in Teams, you can um, obviously delete the tiles. So if you wanted to change the filter, you could just simply delete the tile, add the right one in and you can change the filter and update to another one. So I encourage you to think about what is the use case? What are you looking to show with the dashboard that cannot be shown in the report if it's not too many uh, views anyway? So in some organizations, it might be super useful to have a dashboard. In others, uh, might not as much. So that's the main difference between a report and a dashboard in Power BI and also how to create that yourself.